Next on Live at 5, man charged with sexual abuse of his six-year-old niece. I hate this. I can't watch this anymore. It's crazy. How are we ever going to let Brianna be alone with anyone? To help protect kids from sexual abuse, talk with them about it in ways they'll understand, even if it's awkward. So... Okay. It's like this. Uh... It's about... We, we have to talk about people who... Try to... If anyone... Ever tries to, you know, um... Touch your... Private... Parts. Totally messing this up. Why? <sighs> it's just like talking to kids about safety rules. You need to talk about it. A lot. Kevin? I love that head. Put a helmet on it. Mom. To help kids stay safe from sexual abuse, you need to talk about it a lot, too. Tell kids, always ask me first. Listen, we all know Coach Al, but you still have to ask me first before you get in his car. But it's Coach. Doesn't matter. You have to ask me first, okay? Got it. Tell kids. Tell me if anyone tries to touch your private parts. Kevin, before you go out, okay, this is a little weird, but if anyone ever tries to touch your private parts. Mom, do we really have to talk about this? We really do. And you have to tell me if it ever happens, okay? Weird, but I will. Tell kids no secrets. Sweetheart, nobody can touch your private parts, okay? You remember? No secrets if anyone tries, okay? Okay, Daddy. All right. Keep talking about sexual abuse and keep asking questions. Have a good time? Yeah. What'd you do? Well... The more you ask, listen, and talk, the easier it gets. What I'm trying to say, honey, is that it's not okay for anyone to ever touch you there. Hey, your private parts. Okay? Okay, Mommy. I can do this. To help keep kids safe from sexual abuse, tell kids, always ask me first. Nobody can touch your private parts. No secrets. Tell kids, tell me.